the Melbourne Storm Season Review 2023. Yes, good old Melbourne Storm. Yes, right there, folks. The Storm are there, ready to rock and roll into 2024. But no, what is happening with the Melbourne Storm? Well, every single year, even myself, believe they're going to miss the top eight and they continue to make the top four. They are a gem in themselves. But Melbourne Storm, in the last couple of years, there have been some chinks in the armour. And Cameron Munster probably didn't have his great season. He had injuries to Jerome Hughes. He had Ryan Pappenhausen barely playing, and he gets re-injured. Absolute sad scenes to see there. Ryan Pappenhausen, and he just got back, and he's out again. Um, it was just one of those seasons um, that really, really, really um, was up and down. Even though they ended up in fourth, or third, um, they probably played like a team that was like about sixth or seventh. Because they lost one game, um, I can't remember who it was, but it was like by 48 points. Uh, and they nearly didn't get to the, the 50 put on them to take them completely out of the running one in the comp on history. But um, yeah, they just, but that was just a bit of an anomaly because they, only, they did it a couple of times that they got absolutely spanked. But then they turned, come back next week and win. Um, which well was some well known at doing, but um, they ended up still being very good defensively, as they always are. So um, completion rate seventy nine percent. Now I thought this was actually worse. I thought <laughs> they were actually a lot worse than this, but clearly they weren't. There must be just a couple of games they had real shockers. Um, they four points four twenty four against the defensively nineteen, so very good. Harry Grant, the top tackler of the year with a thousand and sixty five. Absolutely played out of his skin, and and I'll tell you what, the one player that played out of his skin and didn't get the player of the year was Nick Meany, 222 points. Um, 17 tries to Will, Bor uh, Will Warbrick, who got them, to me, the game of their lives. When they pulled off the miracle in the last seconds to knock off the rest with a kick from Cameron Munster, probably his biggest player of his season, Cameron Munster, the kick. To the um, cross field to Will Warwick to score the winning try with a minute to go. That was outstanding. The top star score, Will Warwick, and well deserved rookie of the year. And Xavier Coates, the best player. I'm not 100% sure on that. But that's the way they've decided to go with. I think Nick Meany probably deserved it. But hey, that's the way it went. Now, Melbourne Storm, why I believe they were out the door. See you later. They cannot be any hope this season. Um, you look at the players that were gone. Brandon Smith, Jesse Bromwich, Kenny Bromwich, Felice Kifus, and yeah, the year before that, Nico Hines. Um, they really have lost some of their talented um, forward pack, and I was expecting some big, big drops this season. But they still have Christian Rouse, Tui, Kamalak, Kamir, who's injured quite a bit, Nelson, ACF, Ace, Solomona. So, yeah. Yes, yeah, one of those things I'm just not 100% sure about the season. I think they overachieved, in my opinion. I really do think the Storm overachieved in 2023. Um, I keep expecting them to drop and they just find a way, but I'm expecting they really will drop and miss the top four. I'm going to say this right now. They will miss the top four in 2024. Um, but yeah, uh, they... Yeah, they they probably just missed that consistency of Bromwich and even Brandon Smith having that utility come on. He, even though Tyron Wishout's doing well, but not quite up to Brand, Brandon Smith at the moment. Um, even though he didn't have the greatest of years. But um, yeah, they, they can continue to prove they can do it. But they're struggling to win comps now. Um, they did it in 2018, I believe. But apart from all being the Sharkies, um, was it 2016? I really want to I'm a loss to the Sharkies in that one. Um, but yeah to, um, yeah, to me, the Melbourne Storm, yeah, just the struggling a little bit. And then Craig Battleby must be any close to the end of his career. He's probably won to win another premiership, but uh, I don't see it coming. I really don't. I don't really see the Melbourne Storm as a premiership team. I see them as a consistent team, but just not a premiership team anymore. And they just don't have the gun players. they got good players. Cameron Munster is a gun at his best. But um, Jerome Hughes is solid. Nick Meany is solid. Ryan Pappenhaus is a gun player at his best. But he's not on the field enough for them to have any shot. 
in, in the Harry Grants and gun players. And they've got a couple of gun players. But consistently been on the field all the time is what the Storm need if they really do want to turn it around. So there is a potential they can win a comp. But that is the biggest thing. But yeah, the Melbourne Storm to me were, to me, well overachieved as some. But who were disappointing? Now, Tarek Sims, I thought he was disappointing. I thought he would have jumped up a level, but he just didn't seem to lift for um, Bellamy. He might play right at the end, but yeah, he wasn't at his best. Um, yeah, some, to me, obviously, Will Warbrook uh, overachieved. Xavier Cates was a little bit in and out injury wise with uh, that injury after uh, Origin. Um, yeah, um, Justin Ollum obviously looks like he could be off to the West Tigers. Um, to me, he's still their best centre, so I'm not sure what's happening there. If something's happened off the field that Bellamy hasn't liked, I'm not 100% sure there. If he's not, not training hard enough, I'm not, I'm not quite sure what's happening there. You've got young, young Tom O'Pear. I mean, yeah, it's just a little bit just a little bit shaky. They're just missing the consistent players in every position that they're used to having. Even though they still come food. Now, <laughs> you know, you're complaining you come food. I mean, you got to the preliminary final. Um, yeah, Craig Bellamy. But yeah, I just don't know about them going to that next level. And I just, yeah, I'm not 100% sure. I'm um, the Spa logo, though. He could be the gun. Where do they play him? He's got to play, doesn't he? Does he play on the wing? They need to do something. Well, and how consistent Nick Meany is, yeah. And you got Ryan Papnaus in the vest back, so yeah, far along will probably have to go on the wing for now. Um, but he could potentially be their fullback if Ryan Papnaus doesn't come back and has to end up retiring because of all the injuries. Um, so they seem to always find some good fullbacks. For whatever reason, Craig Bellamy knows how to find a good fullback. But yes, the Melbourne Storm to me was a overachieving season for mine. Um, I'm trying to find other disappointing players. Um, the rest of them were pretty solid. Um, but yeah, they they will need to improve if they're going to stay in the top four. And I've just got a funny feeling they won't. But if Pep Nelson comes back to his best, then definitely there will be a big chance. But anyway, that's the Melbourne Storm. It's Barry Charles' footy show for this one. We've got two to go. We've got the grand finalists, the Broncos and the Penriffs to go on the season reviews. I hope you've enjoyed these all. Just to give you a little bit of a snapshot of the season. Um, have an awesome day out there.